Well, the doctor is in, and today we're welcoming Dr. Michael Phillips with Ascension St. John Medicine to talk about shortness of breath and heart health. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me be here. <laughs> okay, so let's first start off talking about the difference between being out of breath and shortness of breath. What's the differences, would you say? So most of our patients that we see uh, that come to the, the physician have been shortness, have had shortness of breath for an extended period of time. So when someone is out of breath, that's typically when they're just taking a flight of stairs or they're just walking. But if someone is chronically short of breath, then they become concerned enough to go see their doctor. Uh, so the differentiation is the severity of the symptom. Can you break down some of those symptoms that people can know, obviously, this is a concern? Sure. I think the difference between dyspnea, we always hear the word dyspnea and shortness of breath. Well, in, literally they are interchangeable. So when someone is concerned enough that they are dyspneic or short of breath, it's when they are noticeably uh, see a change in their breathing pattern or they're unable to take a deep breath to uh, continue their activities of daily living. So when that that's causes patients to seek medical attention. Are there some things that maybe like drinking water, does things like that help or? When you look at the causes of shortness of breath, uh, there's acute, which is the ones that occur over days to weeks, and then there's chronic, the ones that occur over weeks to months. And the ones that are chronic don't seem to go away. And if that's the case, you can do things to get out of the heat. We just heard from our weatherman how, how the heat can cause shortness of breath, and that's a trigger. And usually getting out of the heat, uh, controlling anxiety, uh, and seeking medical attention to help re help breathing exercises will will alleviate the symptoms in most cases. When it comes to issues like this, how do you feel like it relates to heart health? So it's a it's a very common denominator to have shortness of breath and have it related to heart disease. So we look at we look at four main causes of shortness of breath, and they're either heart conditions, lung conditions, low blood counts like anemia, or simple things like anxiety or medicines. So it's, it's our job as medical, professor, uh, medical professionals to differentiate between those four causes. With relates, when, when it relates to heart disease in general, that is our medical specialist's opportunity to, to identify those risk factors. And it can be quite complicated as to how we evaluate patients with shortness of breath. Obviously, I know you had mentioned to me earlier, it's the summertime. Does that yes. play a part in people maybe not being able to diagnose themselves? Sure. As we all look at our cell phones every day, we see air quality indexes pop up on, on our weather maps. Uh, poor uh, air quality uh, is one of the main causes of shortness of breath, especially in the winter, in the, in the winter uh, and the summer weeks when there's extreme variations in temperature that triggers things like asthma. It triggers things like bronchospasm when you have uh, uh, narrowing of the airways and patients can feel more anxious. So it's a vicious cycle and we have to break that cycle. Okay, Dr. Phillips, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it.